Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and welcome to this, the 13th in a series of video tutorials for Unity 5. So this episode we are going to look at a couple of things. Uh, we're going to look at uh, lighting up this little lamp that we put in at the end of last tutorial. Uh, we're going to input our first NPC and we're going to start building our uh, quests um, things, if you want to call it that, um, which will in this episode it consists of building up our canvas which we will use for our kind of on-screen uh, text boxes, uh, quest boxes and whatever else. So firstly let's get started with this lantern or lamp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to game object, light and let's choose point light and that appears just there. So what I'm going to do is drag and drop onto Lantern just here and I'm going to right click and rename and I'm just going to call it Light001. Uh, let's put the position as 000, zero, zero. Uh, yes that's fine and then here we can just lift up the light in the Y axis to about there. Let's zoom in and have a quick look here. That looks fine. So I'm going to change the range to let's say 20. Make it a bit brighter. Maybe it's too bright. So we'll maybe 15. Intensity will increase to about 5. Let's move it up just a touch more. So now it looks like the sides are glowing just there. And I'm also going to change the colour slightly to a kind of a yellowy kind of colour. Now obviously you can have it as whatever colour you would like, whether it's uh, green or blue, whatever. But that is nice, quick and simple as to creating a kind of a, a street light effect on um, your lantern or lamp or whatever you want to call it. So if you just move it into whatever position you want, maybe the light about there looks all right. So now it's lighting up. Uh, and effectively, once you turn the lights out in your main game, this will light up. So let's give that a quick try. So if you remember, our main source of light is from the directional light here. And it's currently set as sun 001. So let's try changing the intensity to zero. And you can see that we do have light from this here. So let's edit it a bit more. Let's make the range 25. That looks a bit better. So now it's glowing around. So you can set the range to whatever you want. I'm going to keep it as 15. And I'm going to keep the sun the intensity as 1. But you can change that if you want to. Okay. So we've started getting a bit um, messy in our hierarchy. So before we go any further. I am going to quickly tidy up. So let's right click, uh, create empty, not in sun, let's take that out of there. Uh, right click, rename, and I'm going to call this Jimmy Town. You can call it whatever you want, you don't have to call it Jimmy Town. If your name's Ben, call it Ben Town. If your name's Philip, call it Philip Town. It's up to you. So I'm going to take all this village here, which includes the lantern. Hold control and I'm going to select uh, what else we take? Townhouse 1, uh, farmhouse, and house 3, and I'm going to take them all into Jimmy Town. Tidy it up just a little bit more. Still a few things out in the hierarchy, but we don't need to worry about them for now. Okay, so our next thing, what we want to do is inside this building that we built in the last tutorial. And we can actually go inside now. I want to put an NPC. So down here, objects, folder selected, drag and drop the NPC folder, which you can find on our website for free. There is a link in the description, it will uh, take you to the website. Head to the downloads and assets and import. Now, if you don't have 3D Max uh, installed on your computer, you'll get that error down there. Don't worry about it. It doesn't affect anything at all. Click console, 
and click uh, clear. So in this folder now we have NPC and this is an NPC which uh, I have uh, managed to get from a site uh, called TF3DM and they offer free models as I wasn't able to create this one myself so credit of course goes to TF3DM. So you can take either one of these, Will, Will or Will 5, and simply drag and drop them into your scene. So now let us adjust the size because he does look a little small. So let's change the scale of him to 1.5 by 1.5 by 1.5. Let's, uh, let's see, I want to change the rotation as well. So let's change on the Y axis by 90. Nope, 90 no good, 270, so he's facing this way, that looks better. So as you can see his feet are kind of in the ground, so let's pull him out of the ground. And let's rest him, just there. Okay, so now hopefully when we press play, and when we head over to our house, he should look relatively decent. I'm hoping he's not too short. He's a bit big actually, so let's uh, let's reduce his size ever so slightly. We overestimated him. So let's change it to 1.25, 1.25, 1.25. And then drag him down onto the floor again, about there. Okay, so our NPC is in position. And what I want to aim for in this tutorial and the next one is for this guy here to give us our first quest. So to do that, we need to have uh, a canvas in place so as we can actually see what is being said. So let's close this up just there. I'm also actually, you know what, I will put Will into Jimmy Town to keep him all together. So the first thing we need to do to create our questing um, script is to insert a new game object. And we're going to something different now. We go to UI, which stands for User Interface, and then go to Panel. Now down here you'll notice three things appear. You've got a canvas, you've got a panel, and an event system. Even though we have just put in the panel, these others are required for the uh, panel to display correctly. So next what we need to do is on Canvas, right click, click UI, and then click Text. And over here you'll see that's appeared just below our panel. We have text and we have a few different options to play with. So if we go to our canvas, what you need to do is click Pixel Perfect. That option there just enables it to look uh, much better. It, it's not going to be a bit pixely and a bit rubbish on your screen. Uh, next thing to do is let's set our panel colour. So the colour we're going to use here is what we're going to use for our um, text boxes. So in this instance, uh, go here, click colour, and let's choose our colour. I'm going to go for a blue colour, uh, maybe that kind of colour. And down here you have your, uh, well it's labelled as A, but it, theoretically it's opacity. So if it's all the way over here, then it is, you, it's opaque, you can't see through it. If it's over here, then it's uh, transparent and you can see straight through it. Everything in between makes it translucent, which means you can see through it uh, to some degree. So I'm going to set it to, let's say, 71. I'll just move the slider along there. So let's close that. So if you double click your canvas, you can see it is a uh, massive, it is huge. If you click your panel, again, it's the size of the actual canvas. So what we need to do is we need to kind of alter where it is and how large it is. So firstly, oops, we need to go here and we need to set it uh, to a reasonable place on our screen. Text boxes usually appear at the uh, bottom, so we want it to stretch and we want it to anchor it to the bottom here. So if you click this one just here, it will stretch it and anchor it to the bottom of our canvas, which is the bottom of our screen. 
Um, so now, hopefully, in fact, let's press play first and let's quickly check. We should have a kind of a, a blue tint to everything now. Yeah. You can also see our text appearing there. So we've got our box in place, but it's not the right size. So let's alter that. So we click our panel and let's see. How can we change this? There's a few different ways. You could use this option up here and you can change the size there just by dragging the four corners so it's a nice shape. If you want to see how it looks in play, you can do that. Just press play. As you can see, our text box is starting to appear as a text box. Uh, alternatively, you can play around with these settings here. You can make it that long. You can make it all the way across the screen. You can put it all the way down. So I'm gonna let's play with these ones. Let's put 150, and let's put on here. Uh, that's a good number. Let's put 75. Uh, I want to change the height. Let's put that as 100. Uh, and right. Mm, let's see. What would be the best way for this? Um, let's ha let's have it as what it is now. So kind of center. I don't think it's perfectly center, but yeah, it is. That's fine. Okay. So once we've got our text box sorted, we need to sort out our um, our text. So as you can see, this is our text here. It's not in place. Not in the right place. Uh, well, let's try moving it to there. So if you drag your text onto your panel and then zero out the position, it should appear dead center. So let's see. If we click here and um, I think, I'm trying to think of the best thing we should do is I think left and mid line in the center. Because text normally starts left to right unless um, you are, for example, Japanese. It's the other way, but I'm not. So you want to select this one just here. So now we've set the anchor position for the text in the middle on the left. So now what we'll do is, I'll tell you what, before we do that, uh, let's change the size of our text box. So we've still got this button up here selected. So I'm going to adjust the size to about there. Hopefully when we press play, the text should appear nicely up here. Yes, that's fine. One thing though, I think I want to change the opacity of our text box. But make it a bit more opaque and maybe a bit darker blue. Yes, I think that's better. So now we've um, anchored all that. We've got that all right. Let's change the color of our text. So really, really simple. Uh, all you need to do is um, here, font style, you can change it whether you want it bold, italic, bold and italic, it's you, I'm keeping it normal. Uh, font size, um, let's keep 14 for now. Color, now because we have a dark kind of text box, I want to have it a white color. So nice and simple, white. Easy as that. Um, maybe change the font size. Maybe just put 16. So down here, we got paragraph as well. We have a nice colored text, just fine. You can change the color to whatever you want to. Um, let's see. We need to change how it looks here. So we need to click this one. Align center, is it, I think? No, we'll keep it left, but we'll keep it there. So no matter what, it will always appear midline. And let's change our text here. Let's just type in Hello Traveller. Uh, the text that will be displayed here eventually will be uh, what our Will fella is um, going to say to us. So we want to rename this panel now and let's right click rename and I'm just going to call this one uh, let's see, let's call it message box so 
if we press play now you can see that our text box is permanently appearing and we don't want that so what we have to do uh, in reality is up here next to where we've called it message box is untick to disable it the canvas is still activated but the message box isn't and we want to keep it that way just for now so hopefully when we press play once again yes our message box has disappeared now what I do want to do as well uh, before we end this tutorial is uh, let's press play again when we are playing the game I would like up here in this corner a little box to say whatever our active quest currently is so a real quick and simple way of doing that I'm going to re-enable this just for now I'm going to hold control and press D on message box so as it duplicates and creates message box 1 I'm going to rename and call this quest box and I'm going to move uh, its position so I'm going to move it uh, over here uh, let's shrink it as well about there and let's change our uh, text to say active quest and let's put none so when we speak to our uh, NPC down there this will change as well as this and to, to do all this we do need to create uh, a script and I think we've gone on for it's well over 15 minutes now and to write the script is going to take um, another good 15 minutes so we probably won't go in this tutorial but what I suggest at the moment for you is to have a play around with um, the canvas play around with your colors whatever you want to appear how you want it to look uh, let's change our quest box size a little bit smaller and I think I want to move the text a bit more like that so let's press play and have a quick look again yeah that looks fairly decent maybe just need to bring down the text slightly more so it's all about positioning in um, in the canvas so that looks fine for now okay so we will leave this tutorial there for now as I say next uh, episode will be all about scripting I don't think we'll be doing anything else except writing some code as it is kind of vital what I would like to uh, do the idea of what I want to come up with is when we click on Will, uh, he will display a text box, which then we can get rid of by either clicking Will again, pressing Escape, pressing Enter, something like that, and then change what he says again uh, to something different, and then also alter our um, active quest. So once we've done that script, what we'll do is we will actually make the quest. So for example, he'll tell us to go and fetch something. So then we'll go and fetch that something and uh, that quest will be complete and we can follow on from there so that is the end of this tutorial uh, so we put in NPC uh, we built our canvas and we played around with a bit of light so as I say as always have a play around um, figure things out change the color on your canvas you get the best kind of color uh, that you want whether it's blue whether it's green whatever you want so uh, until next time Thank you very much for watching.